have to be thinking about infrastructure in the state of Florida. I mean, every city in Florida is dealing now with traffic problems. You know, when I first came down here, my family in the late 60s, this was a small town state. You know, there was, I mean, I don't, I don't think you could find a traffic jam even in Miami in the late 60s. Now, I drive from West Palm Beach to Miami, I just have no idea how long it's going to take. You know, I mean, I, it, it's, it, sometimes it takes an hour and a quarter, sometimes it takes three hours. The roads are cluttered with too many cars. And it's, it affects quality of life. It affects uh, businesses being willing to come here. And I, we, I've seen cities ruined. I, I've seen what's happened in Los Angeles and other cities. There's no reason for it to happen. And the fact of the matter is we're, we make, we're, we're starting some good ideas. I mean, the Florida East Coast Railway is, open, is opening the Bright Line, which is going to run from West Palm Beach to Orlando, West Palm Beach to Fort Lauderdale, Miami, with four, four destinations. The craziest thing is, Rick Scott was offered, we were offered as the state, $2.4 billion free to build a high-speed connection from Tampa to Orlando. So had, had, we, had, had Rick Scott not rejected that, which I, I, I am absolutely shocked that anybody would do, we would have then had a high-speed train from Miami to Orlando to Tampa. And, you know, I think with, 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 with mass transit, I mean, I'm not, I, I, I get that we're a car culture here. People like having cars. They like getting in their car and turning on the music and, you know, and go, getting, keeping their stuff in their car. That's, what we, they, but they, 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 that's only because that's what they're accustomed to. A lot of millennials don't have cars. They Uber around and they like mass transit. We need to have a world-class mass transit in Florida. And we can't look at just, you know, the, the big tree trunk that's going to be the, the, the high-speed rail from Miami to Orlando. We have to understand that eventually there'll be lots of branches. And then if you can get on the branches into the tree trunk onto another branch, you'll use the mass transit. I would go to Miami all the time now just because of Uber and some of the services that you have where you don't have to have your car there. I would always take the train, which I think makes sense. But I think that we have to, um, we really have to have a, a transportation plan for the state. And as governor, I'm going to really focus on that because, you know, it, we can't be a straight, we, we have, you know, we have to know what our strengths are, play to our strengths and avoid and fight our weaknesses. Right now, a lot of cities in Florida, like West Palm Beach, where I'm, I'm based, you know, very easy to get around. But that's going to change. The population is supposed to grow from 20 million to 26 million in the next 22 years. So, I mean, I just, if you just look at every road you ever drive on and imagine 30 percent more cars, not sustainable. So we need a transportation plan, a sensible, and the government has to be led by the government, has to be led by the government. So I will do everything I can to, uh, to make sure that, we, that we're thinking way beyond next year, but thinking out 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, and, and what, how, how, how people are going to move around safely, comfortably, and efficiently.